first glance is real pretty. Sliding door needs work, like he said. Got some pretty serious dirt. Oh boy. Look at that windshield rust. Got the typical crust around here. Some aftermarket wiring going on here. What is that all about, I wonder? Ah, air conditioner has been re-rigged. And looks like we got the death here. Injector number one has some ooze. I bet when we pull that cap, we're gonna find black death. Got rusty fuel clamps. Fuel pump looks all right. I mean, not as rusty as some, not that that really matters. Clearly got a leak around here. Has not been cleaned in a very long time. Plastic resonator. Oil is black as tar and over full. Looks like something's been nesting here, and the nest kind of got cleaned out, but not really. Got some dirt thrown up in there somehow. That's kind of strange. Nope, it was pulled to get here. That's not an ideal situation. Got some rust. Typical improper use of a shop lift. And I'm going to say those tires weren't spinning when it was dragged over here. Again, this tire was sliding to get here. Body looks good there. Oh. A little bit of wet on the fuel tank, front of the fuel tank. We've got a little rust in the sill. It's not sitting right, but that's no biggie. Could be nothing more than a broken headlight. <sighs> Transmission looks dry. A little bit of rust orange up there, not, uh, not deep rust. <sighs> yeah, not too bad all the way around. Inside, fascinating. It has seats. That's about all I'm gonna say about that. It has mold. Hey, look at here. No broken vents. Oh, three out of four non-broken vents. Fourth one down there looks a little rough. Work boots for days, maybe golf cleats tear a floor up that bad. Looks like it was used to haul mud.
plumbing. Need some serious mold mitigation. Windshield wipers have been run. Windshield obviously needs to be replaced. Well, that'll make the body work on the, uh, around the windshield easier. ASR switch is broken. No electric locks, no electric windows. What in the hell happened here? And there. Wow, something heavy's been loaded in and out of here a lot. Got some rust, more rust, some door damage. Some serious wood shelving there. More evidence of plumbing. Got some uh, toilet bolts. Is that a wheel chalk, really? Uh, that's never a real good sign. I mean, it might mean nothing, but it might mean it doesn't park on a hill well. Got some more plumbing in here. Some deep down in there. Well, I've definitely seen worse, but it ain't pretty. Can you believe that? No lights on the dashboard. No, uh, I mean, no, no trouble lights, no engine lights saying, hey, this is screwed up or whatever. Everything looks remarkably well here. Took a minute to pump the brake up. It goes forward, it goes backward. that right injector seal leak on injector number one is pretty bad we got some lava flow
There it went. AC compressor pulley is not even square on the AC and it is jammed tight. But this is the air conditioner that seems to be seized up. We can see how it's gapped up here and not right there. Sure enough, look at the front. Down inside there, you can see some marbles. Some marbles missing. That puppy ain't spinning. Made it really hard to start the van. Smoked a little bit and then snap went the belt. So we're replacing that here on the uh, side of the road more or less. Happened to have one in the shop. So, well, there's that. It's in there now. Three bolts. Let's go back and look at those three bolts. One, one on the bottom. This one's kind of difficult to get to because there's a hose about right here where my thumb is. Uh, and then this one back here holds a rigid hose that comes around and connects into here. Uh, once those three bolts are loose, it's a lot easier to get to these two bolts from the top of the engine. And these three bolts, obviously, from beneath the van. I've almost got it back in now, so let's go have a look. All right. So, this bolt is obviously easy. This bolt up here, well, there it is. This bolt here is the one hiding behind this dumb hose. It just doesn't quite flex enough to get a ratchet in there very well and this bolt back here is pretty easy rigid hose then connects up here up there of course i connected the hoses before i started bolting things back in uh, so let's try a speed wrench on there to see if we can get in there where the rent where the ratchet won't three eighths fits these i believe they're an e12 and sure enough, that speed wrench is a whole lot easier than fighting with the ratchet the way I've been. Well, I'm trying to finger tight it. I've got my thumb on the center of the bolt head and just swinging the ratchet now with my uh, ring finger and middle finger. snug so we're gonna go ahead and calibrate that to the proper torque which is ah, that tight uh-huh okay you know how that works right I'll put it on here now same about that tight get the e12 back out for up on here Make sure that one's tight. It is. All right. Time to put the belt on. We're on the power steering pump, the air conditioner pump, and the harmonic balancer. Everything looks super duper. Let's see if it starts super duper. Here's your band, man. 